My girls. My petals. This new sun has forever altered his own reality and mine. One night shortly after our confrontation, I can no longer abide the devastation I am both witnessing and feeling. I head out the front door, collapse on the doorstep, put my head in my hands, and start to sob like someone has died, which in a way feels true. Burrowing deep into my gut, a new species of mother worry intends, I sense it, to settle in for a season or two, or maybe forever. The cement step I am sitting on is cold. I pull my knees up to my chest. After a few minutes, the door opens, and my younger daughter slips quietly out, touches me softly on the shoulder, and asks if she can make me some herbal tea. When I nod my head, she disappears into the house to carry on with her preparations. My older daughter, exactly three years older to the day than her sister, comes out just as quietly and sits down beside me on the doorstep. No words. She just puts her arm around me. Presently, the younger one emerges and carefully hands me a steaming cup of herbal tea perched on a matching saucer. So like her to serve her love up with prettiness. And so like the older one to sit next to me in silence. Her unmoving hand on my back, the sign that she will be here, whether I want to talk or not. These girls, whom I often call my petals, feel strangely like little mothers. With my own mother gone these ten years, the intuitiveness of their gestures feels even more graceful and meaningful. They seem to be channeling their grandmother tonight. The younger one has sat down on the other side of me, and together the three of us form a tableau, my occasional sips from the teacup the only movement that interrupts the stillness. The moment feels cosmic in its irony, its sweetness and simplicity just big enough to displace the complex anguish in which I am submerged. So odd that by stepping into the void, my son has also, without the slightest intention, gifted me this one antidotal moment during which my petals, now flanking me in quiet solidarity, remind me that I am not meant to sing. What would I do without these young flowers, whose presence is evidence that peace can blossom spontaneously in the most destitute of places, allowing it for a brief instant to share the roadside with despair?